a retirement plan right here. At the Dynasty Jade Mine in northern British Columbia. On this level here is where it was. I want to cut the bottom off of this rock, full length. There'll be more than one cut. Robin is itching to crack open a giant piece of jade. We want to get this rock cut because there is a potential that particular rock could be worth a half a million. The first six inch is all serpentine. And then we got a 30 inch sample of good jade. Wow. We got one core sample out of it and it's great. But to know if the whole rock, 40%, 60% is good, got to cut it. If there's no fracture, that's good money, jade. Well, it better be because I already went and got a loan. <laughs> so we'll go up and take a look and see what's got to be done up there. Robin needs to get the site ready. He's got a brand new wire saw on the way. You can't cut any of the jade without water. So we'll make a flat spot here for yeah. the tank. Their water tank will sit on the highest spot on the site. Push it back over onto this ground and then it can sit here. Uh, give us lots of flow. You go in a ways and then it, that's Sayward Creek. So we'll walk over there. The closest water source is down the mountain, over a kilometer away. This goes to Sabre Creek here. Yep. So look at that. Running water. Never going to suck that dry. No. Set the pump there, and there's a whole nice pool there for the hose. Let's see how the old pump will make out on this one. Yeah, it's got lots of lift to do, so it will be working. Uphill, and then downhill, and then back uphill. OK, well, walking down here was easy. We got a lot of work ahead of us here. It might be a million dollar bolt. We got to cut it and then we'll find out. Oh my God. This is going to be the million dollar rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jade makes people do crazy things. In Jade City, a much anticipated shipment has arrived from China a brand new wire saw. Our saw finally arrived. So now the boys are going to see what it looks like. Just work your way down, and then go back and then take I it am. right up. It's a gravity-pulled saw, so it has a little jack on the front of it that actually gravity pulls the motor through the rock. This is self-propelled, self-manned, self-efficient. You can do jobs while this saw is cutting and get a lot done. So it's going to be a, a real bonus for productivity on our mine site. Wow. Wow. Man, I hope she uh, works as good as she looks, because she looks pretty good, hon. Here is the instruction. <laughs> I don't think it's the instruction. Yeah, it tells you what to do. No, I'm where, pretty sure. It tells you where to go and how to get there. Don't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Canada, buddy. Now that the saw has arrived, right. Robin needs to get pit three ready for cutting as soon as possible. Pit 3 looks like it has great potential. So if we get some good stuff that we can actually pay for our mining off of the first piece that we found, that makes it an excellent year. The first task is to move their giant water tank a kilometer. All right, I'll hook you. From their old Pit 1 camp up to Pit 3. How much water is in there? That much? Ew! OK, that color is good for coffee. Want to top this up? This one here will pump from the creek up into this tank to run the wire saw. Clear. OK, beauty. We cannot cut jade without water. The water keeps the wire cool, and it actually makes a nicer cut. So your wire is spinning, and if you don't have enough wire, you'll see a little wave in the cut. So we need lots of water. Hauling the water tank up to pit three with the excavator is a tricky task. Oh, uh-oh. Chicken. Scared me to poopy pants. Here we are. I'm gonna have to go up past the bank. Thank you, girl. Way up. It'll be perfect. Geek, left. No oh, geek, go right. Don't go the other way, geek. That spot is the ideal spot. Gives us enough pressure for the wire saw to work properly with that kind of flow. That'll do right there. And that's the key thing, is having the height so that we can work anywhere down below and have water flow. I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs>
Down the hill, Josh and an old family friend, Eddie, are trying out the water pump. All right. It pull starts as well. OK. It hasn't been used since last season. Throttle, choke, starter. We need unlimited water at pit three, and we're trying to accomplish that. I don't want to pull too hard and break it. Whoa, what's going on there? See, with the, without even the pressure, that bolt is already pushing out. It's just if I crank the pressure up. Start it up. Nice job. Son of a bitch. Yeah. The pump is leaking. The main priority today is to get water, and without the pump, I can't get water. Just too much water spraying out. This one's kind of <sighs> We want to have water up on pit three for the saw. However, it's not looking like that's going to happen. He's not going to be happy about that. Josh heads out to deliver the bad news to his dad. Well, I think water came out of there at like 300 PSI. Between. OK. Take a look at it. Well, we can't have a leak. Yeah, you can see where it was stripped there. Stripped. It's stripped. Yeah. Yep, stripped. Yeah. This part is more out or inside? They're both Yeah. Boy, it leaks. Teflon doesn't help either. Nope. We need a new head. Trying to Mickey Mouse this in? Yeah. Won't do it. This is a long ways to pump. There's no way that would hold. We can't fill the water tank. We can't run the wire saw because we need this particular piece. What do you want to do with your water pump? I've got to go to Jade City and deal with it. And make some phone calls. Can't pump the water to the tank. It's hard to conserve money when stupid little shit like this happens and costs you. Yeah, we're not cutting today. Have you seen the, the wires already? Yeah, it's neat. I haven't seen it function, but I've seen it sort of being assembled. Nope. Oh, it's no. cool. It's a big day in Jade City. The crew's newest toy, a wire saw, is getting its first test. Are you oh ready? Oh, God. Claudia wants to cut a boulder that's been sitting in front of her store for decades. Any piece of jade she can sell this year will help fund their mining. This is a heritage boulder. I've had this for 15 years. My dad mined it like 30 years ago. So if this is really good inside, I will really want to commit suicide. So do you need somebody to double check everything you've done, or you're good? Eddie, got the electrical all set up, sort of by how they have it in the uh, Chinese book. There's five different ways of hooking the wires up. I know it's Which one is, it's the ground. This is the neutral, this is the ground. I got to hook it up there. Because even in Europe, they change the colors. The Chinese-made saw is missing one key piece, assembly instructions in English. This is the ground. I hope. <laughs> yeah, push it ahead. OK. Everything's ready to go. When you press that start button, Everybody has anxiety because this is not easy to replace. This took me a couple of months to order, figure out what we wanted, get it here, have it built. OK, you ready? Yeah. It's going that way. Hopefully. Over the top. Right, unless you got your wires crossed. This would take me another two months to get another one if we cooked the motor. We'd be in a lot of trouble. Two months is more than half my season. OK. What the? Uh oh. Not the noise we want to hear. Did you read it? Have you started? There is no English on that part. Turn it on and go. When you get equipment from out of the country, a lot of the time there's like communication gap. Okay, one more try. You're doing it too fast. Can you cut it? Press the reset thing. I need you to, I need you not to talk right now. Don't, don't be telling me what to do when you don't even look at this or the book. No, but you're not even looking at the numbers that are here. It's, it's saying a code. Go ahead. Eddie and Gary double check Robin's wiring. This is the one to the generator. Oh, he's a backwards. Yeah, that's wrong because this yeah. one looks for me that's the info board, right? This one should be the same as this one and this one like this. Because what we figured it's, look, this is the out and we need three phase here. Looking at the wiring, we need a five wire setup and we only got four. Yeah, this is a ground. We got to use the ground as a live wire. That's what we got to do. And we can just run a separate ground wire. We don't know if the electrical is right until we start the saw. Fire in the hole. Yeah! Woo! We have that part working. Down wow, 
that's awesome. <laughs> that's cool. And it's so quiet, Joshua, listen. So be quiet so we can hear the saw. <laughs> Later in the afternoon at Dynasty, it's a job that no one wants, running hoses through the bush for the water. Our next task here is that we got to go gather up all our water line and stretch it down to the creek. That's where the young kids come in handy, I guess. Robin elects Josh for the laborious task. What are I doing? You can use a six by six and bring that hose out of the trailer, hook two together and just pull them. I walk straight from the top there. I just walk straight in, like off where the rocks are there. Mm -hmm. Just walk straight this way. There's that old road goes straight, just follow it. Hmm. So you're running it down the road? Yeah. Right okay, that's easy. This is gonna take me like an hour. Oh, no, there's a lot of hose. Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go pull on some hose. Josh has to stretch out and connect hoses all the way from the top of pit three down to the creek a kilometer away. I don't think this is the best way to do it with the hoses. I think the best way is to roll it up and take your time. However, my dad wants me to drag it with the quads. Just following orders, you know? Watch your fingers. Oh, this one's got a kink, too. We'd probably put this one back as well. This water line that we're going to be running now will be the longest that we've run. So it's also a trial and error. Yeah, throw one more on there. Then we're done with the reds. Geez, you guys are making my day here easier by the minute. Wait until you get over to where you got to string it. <laughs> Probably close to three quarters of a mile of hose to stretch out. I think you're over your weight limit. You think so? The tires look like they got air. <laughs> this is still this guy. So female onto the pump, so female down. So the female goes down all the time. Yep. Against me and Eddie's better judgment today, we're sort of just strapping the hoses onto our quads. While it's getting dragged, any rock or debris, whatever, can put a slash line in it. Even if the hose doesn't get snagged, it can get torn. It's dragging them up these really tight winding back roads. There's a lot of willows and logs and all kinds of stuff on the edges of the trails from being slashed because the trails overgrow every season. Slash marks leave stumps, and stumps grab hose. Ah, this might not work. Come on. Ah. Really? That's not cool. It's snag, yep. And I can't get it to pull around these guys with the power of the quad. Thought maybe I'd turn the willow into a bearing. Didn't happen. <sighs> <sighs> There. While Josh preps the hoses near the creek, Gary pulls them up to the water tank at the top of pit three. Gary's my Hercules. No, oh, I'm on a roll. Nailed it. We're using GPS to get elevation for our pump in here. See how high we can lift the water. Flatter's better for pushing water, but we don't have that option around here. Where the pump's going, right here. He's doing GPS elevation change from where the tank is to here, just so I know how much head pressure we're going to have going up this hill. If the elevation change to pit three is too great, the pump might not be able to push the water all the way up to the tank. Up there's 973, and I'm bouncing between 931 and 932 here, so 41, 42 meters difference. 42 meters. Let's see how the old pump will make out on this one. It looks like it's about 200 years old, so I don't know. It's a worn out old piece of equipment. This is the longest line we've ever done before, yeah. Skeptical? Nah, it's gonna make it or it won't. In Jade City, after a full day of cutting, the saw has made it through one of Claudia's old jade boulders on her front drive. Shut her down, and we'll wedge it open. 
She's anxious to see if there's been a small fortune sitting under her nose all along. Tell me when you're ready. This rock cannot be great, AJ, in the middle because I've suffered for 15 years. Ate macaroni and cheese at dinner time all winter. Oh my God, you guys. We're getting ready to finally break it open. It's been cutting here for two days. Holy shit. That's opening up. There we go. It's moving? Yep. Hmm. But just the green. If it was just a little bit more green. I don't think that's green. that bad of a color. There we go. So I think it's going to come out way nicer once you yeah. polish it. Eh? Yeah. Hmm. The boulder isn't the million dollar rock Claudia was hoping for, but the saw works and is ready to tackle the giant lens at Dynasty. So yeah. we know the saw works. That was our whole objective. Now we need to take it down to Dynasty and we need to cut open that next potential. <laughs> Bam. Yep. Later in the day at Dynasty. Yeah, we'll throw two more O-rings on there. You got them? Yeah, and then tighten it up and back in. The pump has been repaired. OK, I'm going to go unload the pump. Now Josh and Gary need to finish the job and get water up to pit three. OK, hold on a second. Oh, uh, there's light. If you could, well, I'm going to I'm holding this. I'm going to rip the Yep, that's what I was going to do. Just put this on the bottom. <laughs> this pump will be pushing over a kilometer and elevation change. 42 meters. Yeah, it's got lots of lift to do, so it will be working. Right now, we're definitely in unknown waters. My dad's never had lines strung this long on this site, so we've never had this type of head pressure on this pump. We've never had this much back pressure on this pump. I think we're about to start pumping some water here. Got a copy there, G? Are you ready? Yeah, you bet. And I guess we'll find out when we hook up the pump if there's any ruptures in it. We got water pumping 220 pounds at the head here. Keep working. OK, so you guys started pumping? Yeah, been pumping for like two minutes. Hey, no, I got nothing yet. OK, stand by. I think it blew off somewhere. I'll head up front and check for leaks anywhere. Now the boys are going to walk the line, make sure there's not a ruptured hose or puncture somewhere. We need all the pressure we can get to get up here. Oh, you can see the leak right there. Let it out. Holy. You got a hose going part on us here, Gee. You got a. Put her together. Easy fix. The crew is under pressure, trying to get water to the top of pit three at Dynasty. Yeah, blue uh, right off fitting here. And you must have been getting water close. I got lots of water coming back on us here. On standby for water. That's a lot of pressure, man. Three clamps that blew off. Oh, it's your fault this broke. Yeah, no, actually, I'm just doing what I'm told nowadays. I'm going to reconnect this hose. Put new clamps on it. Three of them. There was some loose hose clamps on the bottom sections here, and pressure built up in the path of least resistance. Move up to the next one and tighten that one up, because it was leaking too. So when I come by, this fitting was spraying water all over the place, just from head pressure. If you got a leak somewhere like this, you're not going to get water at the top because of the head pressure. When you have a pump pumping uphill, the weight of the water actually causes the PSI on the hose and on the fittings to go way through the roof. With a steep climb up to pit three, they have to run the pump full throttle and hope the hoses hold up. Yo, Mr. Marshall. Go ahead there, big guy. Josh, head down to the pump and fire up. Water will be coming at you if you're ready. Buddy, I was born ready. Let's hope we get water this time. All right. Let's find out if this is going to work. Under PSI. That is cranked way up. Okay, well, I got nothing like with. Okay, hang on. She's bucking pretty good. There's probably just airlock. Oh, we got water. Yep, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. We can get audio on. Job done. 
Come on, Mama, let's get out of here. Pretty much we're done with the water here, so we're just gonna let the tank fill up half. Do we have enough water for the saw? So things are looking good. It's the first time I've ever been excited about water. Stuger, we got water! Pit three has water. Hey, Stuger not even excited about the water. Is this like your day off today or what? And he's falling asleep as I'm talking to him. Sleepy Stu. What a life. Here he goes. With water to cool the saw at pit three, they'll be able to start cutting the giant lens and see if the jade inside matches their expectations. It could be thin, it could be thick, it could be lots little, it could be spotty. We just gotta cut it. Next time on Jade Fever. We just got a call that a food truck's just gone over. Oh my God, it did go in the water, eh? Thank God the driver is okay. It's gotta be quarter million dollars worth of food, you know? You know, he might be sitting on a million bucks there, Stu. Hey? Watch out, watch out. We got a big wobble. Yeah, there you go. Generators backfiring. What? How the f did this happen? No, I'm pissed.